What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin Show. Today we're looking at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Gold Label figures, but this time the Target exclusive versions. So in this wave over here, we've got Ocean Master, so he looks awesome, a nice villain to go along with Aquaman. And then we have Kyle Rayner, Green Lantern. So we've had him in a different version already, but this one looks a little bit different that we'll compare, but looks very cool here to have the for like first appearance version of Kyle Rayner. And then we have Deathstroke from Project Defiance. So when he kind of turns good and wears this outfit design here. So all three of these look really awesome nice neat designs and really cool to go with our collection so let me get them open out of the box and we'll take a look at them together. So let's start off with Kyle Rayner from the Changing of the Guard storyline which was from Green Lantern number 51 from May 1994 which was the first issue with Kyle as the new Green Lantern after Hal Jordan went on his rampage and became Parallax the last guardian of the universe sent out the last Green Lantern power ring and it found Kyle who just happened to be in the right place at the right time so he looks cool here so we've had a Kyle Rayner before and I'll show you that in a second but this is supposed to be like from his first appearance in his design so he has the all black outfit and it's got the nice texture just like the other version but it's got this all nice texture running through with the all black then he's got the green gauntlets the green little green lantern logo that's half black half green i think is cool the green mask on his face so the cover up his face but it's pretty big thick mask there and his all black hair some white in the midsection there i don't know why that design's there but it is and i don't i don't hate it since it breaks up the black but it just with that texture looks like a sweater with that design and then the green boots on on his feet there so overall I really like this look like I don't think it's the best looking version of a Green Lantern ever but I do like the look just overall and I think it looks good for Kyle Rayner and everything so not a bad figure just a little bit of a different look for him and as I mentioned we've had that other one so this is the one from the Blackest Night storyline so this is the one from that design and I think I do like this new one much more just because I hate the colors they chose for this green even though they match pretty close but just on this figure it looks pretty weird but either way you can't go wrong and they are pretty much the exact same figure just redesign obviously different gloves and boot design compared to this one but still overall looks cool but for his movements his head can twist all the way around it can look down that far and up that far so not bad movements there shoulders up 90 with the butterfly joint and rotate around we get the bicep twist the double elbow joint that can bend pretty much all the way up on itself so not bad the wrist can twist around and flex on the ball joint. Then we get the ab crunch, so we have the upper ab crunch there. So crunch back and forth, not much crunching, just a little back and forth and can barely twist side to side. But then we get the movements at the waist, so there we can crunch back a little bit more and twist around there as well. The hips can come up close to 90 out to the side, not far from doing the splits. Barely any thigh twist, but a double knee joint that bends up that far to the back. And then we get the foot that rocks back and forth and can twist side to side with the toe joint on the end. So again, the standard McFarlane joint, so gonna see the same things over and over again, pretty much. But for him, he comes with some accessories. So first we get the base, of course, we'll pop him on. And then he gets some of the Green Lantern constructs. So first off, we get this armor piece that looks like a samurai armor, it has a nice Green Lantern logo on it there. But it's overall like the samurai armor, which is cool, slide on. So obviously it just slides on over his head and sits there. It's obviously not the best because it's a thicker plastic. So probably if you heated it up a lot and got it nice and malleable, then slid it on him and kind of formed it around his body, it'd look a little bit better, but that's pretty cool. And he also comes with a sword so probably like a samurai sword here as well in an energy construct so we can put this in his hand we have to put it in his left hand because his right is only a fist and we don't get any additional hands but there we have him with now the armor piece as well as the sword so that looks pretty cool of course it'll be hard to get it around and posed up but it looks pretty cool there that he has an energy construct sword and everything and of course is powering there on his other hand so that looks pretty awesome for Kyle Rayner and of course we have the card so there's a picture of course from changing of the guard and a real name Kyle Rayner says after Hal Jordan succumbs to the influence of Parallax and the Green Lantern course crumble the guardian get that travels to earth and bestows the final Green Lantern powering to artist Kyle Rayner rather than protecting just earth and space sector 2814 it's now Kyle's a responsibility to guard the entire universe as the sole green lantern until the guardians and the corp return so there's a little bit more clarity backstory wise but overall looks pretty cool you know it could be a little bit better you know not much different than every other figure we've had but overall he looks cool I like the sword and the samurai shield armor and stuff and that's pretty cool and of course being a green lantern always has to have the green lantern looks and stuff to it but overall a pretty cool figure here for kyle rayner and next up we have Ocean Master or known as Orm Marius. He's an Atlantean half-brother of Aquaman and was the king of Atlantis until he decided to evade the US where he ended up being usurped by Aquaman and exiled and imprisoned on the surface and overall he looked pretty cool here you know nice awesome design looks pretty close to the Ocean Master I've always seen and look with the nice purple design you know very similar to Aquaman but instead of the orangish color it's purple and then has the all black leggings and overall I'll show you the comparison he is pretty much the Aquaman 
different figure we already have just has the all face covering that has the pretty cool designs i always say like the seahorse wings and stuff that they're on the side of the head that looks pretty cool and all silver he looks pretty evil with his teeth graded and the red eyes and stuff and the nice black helmet with the fin up top and the black cape hanging there off the back with the nice like purplish sort of maroon colored there on the back so that looks awesome nice silver gauntlets with the silver belt and aquaman logo stuff there and nice additional armor there on the thighs black legs going all the way down has the fins on the back just like aquaman and stuff and overall looks pretty good so it's a nice awesome looking figure of course with this being a gold label they're of course going to release other versions of ocean master so it'll be interesting to see how those look because this is pretty much how ocean master looks at least to me and at least since it's labeled the new 52 version so especially for that but power wise he has the atlantean physiology so it gives him superhuman strength speed durability and reflexes and hence senses accelerated healing and is an amphibian so he can go on land as well so pretty much all just like aquaman but we're going to do is his movement so his head can twist all the way around he can look down that far and up that far so not bad movements shoulders up 90 with the like butterfly joint doesn't really do too much it looks like it kind of popped out there but can rotate all the way around as well we get the bicep twist the double elbow joint that bends mostly all the way up yeah not too far if you get it bent there so a little bit off but then the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth we get the upper ab crunch so crunch back and forth again very little crunching but can twist all the way around pretty easily and then we get the crunching at the waist which for him it doesn't really feel like there's much crunching there either and the twist is pretty stiff as well we get the legs that come up just about that far the underwear is kind of holding them back and out to the side pretty much no thigh twist double knee joint that bends up that far to the back so the fin kind of gets in the way there and then we get the foot that rocks back and forth and can twist side to side with the toe joint on the end so it has the exact same joints as that Kyle Rayner just maybe a little bit worse on this figure because some things don't work out as well and it looks like he may have some issues like manufacturing wise with the figure but as I mentioned he is pretty much just like Aquaman look wise so here's the Aquaman that we have so far so I think it's like the endless winter Aquaman but gee the shirt wise and stuff the upper body piece is exactly the same just he went from orange to purple even has the same like color piece the belt's the same except he has the additional armor thrown in there and the legs are exactly the same just obviously black instead of the green and the gauntlets are the same as well just different colors so pretty similar body shared between the two which is kind of what always happens with the gold labels they just take something and redo it but they have like the additional head and cape and stuff on orm here which is pretty cool now accessory wise he comes with of course the base we'll put him on since i do have some issues standing him it's probably just because of that cape pulling him back and then he comes with his version of the trident so he comes with the big trident spear thing in the silver here so it looks pretty awesome nice details and designs in there so let's put this in his hand so there's ocean master with his trident and of course we have the card so a picture there from the new 52 looks pretty awesome and on the back says orm marries his real name and it says orm is eternally jealous of his brother known on the surface world as aquaman and has dedicated his life to not only taking his throne away from him and thereby taking it for himself but also destroying everything and everyone that he holds dear although they are related by blood orn has none of his brother's nobility or charity and only exhibits ruthlessness and sadism ocean master will never rest until his older brother is destroyed and the throne of atlantis belongs to him so it sounds pretty evil there for ocean master such an evil guy so overall it looks pretty cool and i can't wait to see what actual version we get of him released because i think this one looks pretty cool so it'll be awesome to see if they go with maybe a more classic look or design to him and stuff but looks pretty good and especially like I said with that aquaman in here they look pretty similar and stuff so go pretty nice together there and next up we have Deathstroke real name Slade Wilson from Project Defiance and this was after being trapped in the Speed Force while trying to go back in time to save his son's life. He was pulled out by the Flash and came out as a changed man and he was ashamed for what he had done and decided to form a new team of young heroes. That would include him, his son Jericho, his daughter Rose, Power Girl, William Wintergreen, and his ex-wife Adeline Kane. So it was just a nice like hero group that he formed and they all wore this black and white color and has the like a little symbol logo there on it for the group so that's pretty cool and overall this Deathstroke looks pretty awesome so he's got the all black and white so instead of like the black or blue and orange but the black is pretty cool it's got some nice like detailed and weathering so some silver like dry brush painted over the top of it which is cool and then of course the nice bright white to contrast that looks awesome but the black looks cool so he's got the shoulder pads and of course his like chain mail scaling and stuff so on the sides and on his arms and that carries through again with that silver on top but then he's got the white so he's got the white cape hanging down in the back looks pretty 
pretty nice cool detail with the hood piece and then the white down the center going down into legs some white gloves with black details on it and then silver on the legs there so it's got some nice texture in there as well with some straps on his legs going all the way down to he's got a nice little holster here with a knife in it that you can take out if you want but nice little holster there all the way down to the boots that are mostly white with the black on them so overall it looks pretty cool and it does look very similar to the dash stroke we've already had so this version of death stroke and they've changed up some of the body like the center especially but he's still got like the chain mail and stuff so this arm looks pretty similar just repainted and mask looks same repainted and legs are pretty similar all the way down to the shoes and stuff like I said just obviously repainted from the normal death stroke sort of colors to this version now which is really cool but we'll do the movement so his head can twist all the way around and he can look down that far and up that far so again pretty much the same shoulders up to 90 with the butterfly joint and rotate around we get a bicep twist the double elbow joint that bends all the way up wrist can twist around and flex back and forth we have the upper ab crunch so crunch back and forth and twist side to side and then we get the waist crunch so crunch back and forth and twist side to side there the hips can come up pretty much to 90 out to the side he can do the splits some more thigh twist on him but a double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back so not bad but not good and the ankle can rock back and forth and twist side to side with the toe joint on the end. So again, same movements as the other two figures we've looked at today. But overall, I do like this look. It's different for Deathstroke. You know, it's out of the ordinary, just a different color. So this makes perfect sense for a gold label because it's not a normal figure like the Ocean Master or whatever, but it's just an alternate version of Deathstroke that many people probably don't even care about. But I think he looks really cool. Now accessories, of course, comes with the base plate. And weapons-wise, as I already showed, he did have the knife down on his leg, but he comes with a bow staff. So Deathstroke a lot of times uses a bow staff. So let's put this in his hand. So there's Deathstroke with the staff staff and then we have his card so there's a nice picture there of Deathstroke from Defiance so he looks awesome there with that nice artwork and around on the back of course says Slade Wilson and then the story is just the normal story for him nothing related to this so you can read that if you want but we've already went over that but overall pretty cool figure like I said this is the perfect like gold label where it's a Deathstroke you know they've already released him this is just an alternate version like I said that's kind of more obscure so people probably don't care as much for it so that kind of works out better as a gold label so perfect for this where like I said Ocean Master and Gakawa Rainer for that matter kind of are more annoying to be gold labels but still a great figure overall with look wise and there's our three McFarland DC Multiverse gold label Target exclusive figures where we had Kyle Rayner, Green Lantern, Ocean Master, and Defiance Deathstroke. So all of these are really cool. I really like the Kyle Rayner and the Ocean Master. Like I said, those are pretty, I would say, necessary figures, especially this version, the first appearance version of Kyle Rayner, Green Lantern, and Ocean Master as well. But like I said, the Deathstroke, you don't really need as much. And I think it looks cool. I love the black and white color design. That's all cool. But he's not necessary and could be one you could easily be skipped on. But the other two I think are pretty important but let me know what you thought of these figures down in the comments and if you enjoyed my review let me know with the thumbs up well thank you all for watching I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review